Okay, so I got a, I got a heartbreaking video for you guys. It's about the st uh, story out there about the indigenous of Chiapas in southern Mexico. Credits to La Jornada. Check this video. I'm going to try to translate everything it says and has. So, humanitarian crisis in the high mountains of Chiapas. 6,000 peoples have been forced out of their homes and they are now sleeping in the cold and hungry and in the mountains. And they're still in danger from these people. This has been stirring up for 20 years. Cartels mixed up with politics and traffic of arms around this region. And these people are seen right here running from the paramilitary, the paramilitares. So, yeah, the paramilitary of the political groups of PRI. Y del PVM. I really do not know what that is, the PVM. So they could hear gunshots, you know, roads have been blocked blocked by these uh, cartels, even their houses being burned, of course, the absence of authority, all this adds up to these poor people being helpless out there. They, they try, están bloqueados los caminos menos uno, wow, so, it just said right now, that the roads are blocked, you know, there's two roads that are blocked and there's only one that's left. So it's basically like if they're getting, okay, let's just go. Hold on, pause. The person that's going to translate the native tongue into Spanish, his name is Marcelo Perez. So, credits to this man right now that we're actually getting this news and he's out there. Gracias, gracias. So, she said, le duele mucho. It hurts a lot right now in this moment. They burn her cornfield. They burn her beans. They burned everything they, they, they she has. And now she's sleeping in the, in the mountains. And the hunger that they have, the hunger that they feel, that's why she has so much so much oh my god so sad bro that's why she has so much um sadness in her heart it hurts she has pain so this has been happening for the inefficiency of the officials in the region that they don't really care about these people because they're being paid of course they're corrupt so she says that they have invaded our territory i don't know what that is uh she's probably crossed the damn so they're being shot at they're being shot at out there is there being, it's like if they're, they're um, I'm sorry, I'm pausing a lot, but it's, it's like if they're being used for game out there, like a hunting game. This is insane, bro. This is out of this world, man. So there's a, there's a dispute, what I'm guessing, between these two rival powers. And he just said the city's, uh, the two towns' names that they're, uh, they've been fighting for quite some time now. And I'm guessing that they're just strategizing on taking these people's land to sell and make more profits or income or just boost their, their financial status of crime or just their own, their own personal, you know, status. This is insane. Look, it says right here. So, this hope in humanity that we can all collaborate to have peace between Chenalho. Chenalho y Chalchuituan. So there's, um, there needs to be peace between Chenalho and Chalchuituan. That's what this guy's trying to say. They're, they're having a dispute, and this dispute's, you know, damaging the indigenous people in that area. So arms only cause more suffering. It's very important to the government so they can look for a, a peaceful ending. So I'm right here with all my family. And I'm crying because my family's suffering. Oh, man, dude. And this happened on the 18th of October in 2017. And until now, we haven't seen no no delegate, no, no, no one from government to come see what's going on right here. And it's very sad to see that we're right here, you know, sleeping and living how we are because of this problem. Damn, this video is sad, bro. And, gosh. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, they don't even have light, bro. They, they have phones. They, they have phones or, or, or uh, what is that? I'm pretty sure that's a phone that they're, they're shining light to themselves in there. So it's, it is very sorry that they're living like that. It is very sorry that they're living like that, man. They don't have no, they don't have no problems with other people. And, and for just people to come and take them out of their homes, I mean, damn, that's just sad, man. All right, well, that's the video, guys. I want to share that with you guys. Um, um, shed some light what's going on over there with the indigenous of Mexico and, and, the, and the indigenous of the Chapa of the of the state of Chapa. I'm sorry, I'm messing up a lot. All right, thanks for watching. Just thanks for watching, guys.